So today we're off to Animal Kingdom this well this morning with Jane and Tom. We are. Yep. Gonna do a couple of rides, including a flight of passage, and then we're heading back to the hotel to have a relaxing afternoon around the pool because today's gonna be the last hot day for a few, I think. Caroline's coughing up a lung. All of these vlogs are just gonna be Caroline coughing up a lung, Caroline coughing on everything. So we're heading in and the first fast pass is for the safari so we're doing that again for a morning safari we're doing the safari three times this trip morning we've done it already at noon and we're going to do a kind of nighttime one as well so we'll see how they all compare but first we're heading in to the park and then we're going to head to the back let's get through this security line yeah then you will pass all the queues moving fast so we'll use that one Kangaroos don't like to be tied down, boy. <laughs> don't they not, Jane? The jokes are getting worse. to Tom's mouth. <laughs> We're going on the safari. How much are we going? Yeah. We're going to see Wildlife in short. I can see that animal. <laughs> This is my not impressed face. <laughs> Good morning ride on the safari and now we are crisscrossing the park to go and ride Flight of Passage for the first time this trip and Jane and Tom's first time ever. You like Flight of Passage don't you Caroline? It makes it a bit sickly and busy but yeah <coughs> I just turned to the side. Just coughing up a lung today. So we're going to ride that and then once we've done that it's Caddy River Rapids but also I'm hungry so I might get some lunch. back in Pandora and just walking under the floating mountains to our fast pass at Flight of Passage which standby weight's 135 minutes which isn't bad for this ride actually but let's go and ride Flight of Passage my favorite ride Yeah. 
You're looking forward to this one then? Yeah, it's very much so. Yeah? Are you sticky? I'm a little bit. Yeah, like a soy chicken wing or something. Korean sticky barbecue. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I want those. <laughs> That's uh, nice. <laughs> Genetic matching room. Hi, and welcome to the Avatar program. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a banshee. Restraints activated. For your safety, I will be going behind you and pushing all those restraints to ensure that they are locked and secure, so please make sure you're all in forward touch with the very front chest pad. Once again. I love that ride. Yeah, the smells are amazing, it's just magic. Did you get it wet? Is. A little bit, I got sprayed on it. But, love it. <coughs> is it better for you this time? I had a still turn away, but the problem this time was my, with it being absolutely loaded in the wind, my eyes were just streaming, so yeah. I could hardly see anyway. And what did Tom and Jane think for the first time? Loved it, absolutely. <laughs> I want to go and do it straight again. Yeah. Just, really, yeah. really good. Um, worth every, every bit of the height. Yep. My favourite ride still yeah. is my favourite ride. Disappoint. I was worried that we might be disappointed after because I've not watched it. Right. Um, so oh, I was worried that we might be disappointed, but loved it. And I didn't have to turn away either. Really? Just like the bottom. You're buying anything in here, Jane? I don't think so, no. I found another cap that I like with fancy ears. Oh. With, Icra with um, Navi ears, even. Yeah. That's what I meant. I love the theme of this shop, though. Yeah. <laughs> so we are just popping into Tuli Canteen for a quick drink and maybe a snack before we go and ride Cali River Rapids. Jane and Tom are going to get a blueberry cream cheese mousse, I think. Oh, the pods. So this is what we've got. I've got the chicken and beef bowl. And I wish I'd got my beef a bit more well done than that, because that is a lot appealing to me. And Caroline's got the chili tofu, which is a little bit too big for her. Yep. Yeah. Very much too big for us. And Jane and Tom and cheeseburgers. I'm just gonna put a ball in my mouth. Oh. 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 Was your lunch, Caroline? Salady. Salady. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coughing at your own joke? It was alright. I'm not making the tea. That's why I'm making the tea. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I kept the croutons, the croutons, and they were, they were open. Yeah. Did you like your cheeseburger pods? Yes, I did. Yeah. They were dry, but they were nice. Well, I'm making it Mine was quite nice, but that beef was a little bit too red. But that, I think that's all there again.
Why you stop now? Soggy knickers again. <laughs> Soggy knickers. I'm all right. I'm, I'm fairly dry actually. Apart from at the end, they sprayed us all. Well, that's what I'm saying. To get us in the hole. You was a lot of all got dry bottoms. Yeah, apart from you. Apart from Soggy knickers. Did you like that gin? Uh, I did like that. Yeah, it was oh, good. Yeah. Good Tom, are you wet? A little bit. Not a lot. A bit moist around the never regions. <laughs> We've finished the Animal Kingdom for today. We've left Jane and Tom there. <coughs> and now we're going to chill around the pool. What do you think of the pool area, Caroline? Small, compact, but it's, it's really suited to it's kids. It's more than it does on videos. So which one yeah. is your favourite? Um, it's very suited to children, isn't it? It's yeah. not as good as the Yacht Beach Club. No. One. So it's a bit of a free form wave pool and there's the slide with the clown's head which I'll go down in a minute it takes you right in the pool it's very themed and then there's a pool bar there which is a yeah it's meant to be like a boardwalk Atlantic yeah we're gonna have a couple of drinks and a snooze on with Caroline we are so the pool has been closed as a child had a pool so they've had to treat it and we're waiting for the chemicals to take effect and start working so in the meantime this will have to do you enjoying your margarita you enjoying your margarita nice well we've had a few libations around the pool we haven't went in after that incident even though they've cleaned it Mm, they need to drain Probably the pool or something for me. So it's very nice. I will go down the slide at some point if it stays warm. But I think we're going to head in because there's a big black cloud. What's going There's a black cloud coming now. Um, Caroline's just on the phone. Creek, the new one. You know, wilderness. Is it wilderness lodge? Yeah. Oh, we're on the phone. It's Shari. It's Shari. Put yourself Hello, in the Shari. Has she moved herself over? Can't see, it's too dark. No, she goes there, there she's Mom. back over. Mom. Can you see her? All you can see is teeth. Say it. <laughs> so, we're going to head back up to the room and get changed for our flying fish reservation. So, we escaped from the room before the rain started. We're all changed and now ready for the flying fish, which is this restaurant here, handily in our hotel. However, there is a small piece that's not covered. We have to run through to get into the restaurant because um, it is chucking it down and there's a massive group of people there. But this is a common occurrence every time we come to fly and fish. It mm hoys -hmm. it down. How are we going to get through then? So we've made it into fly and fish. A splash of water to get in here. And we're sat at the same table we were. I'm in the same spot. I mean, they drove us around the restaurant. Which was a bit of an obstacle course. Oh no, I'm not in the same spot. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But we ended up back at the same table. There's still as lovely a restaurant as ever, so we're gonna pick some food and some drinking. But we don't have the same server. We don't have the same server, but, but that's she's fine. literally just there. Yeah. So <coughs> I'll show you in a second what we bought. So our starters have arrived. I've got the snow crab croquettes and Caroline has the grilled lettuce, which is going to be interesting. Yep. Have a try, Caroline. Does it look good? Oh, I've got my Riesling and Caroline doesn't have hers yet. Just having a smoked gin and tonic. Um, um, do you know what it is? I've completely lost my mind on which name of pork teas. It's this one, isn't it? That one. My brain just went. Mm, that one. They're all going the wrong way, aren't they? Mm, that one. I am losing the plot. It's just a grill. It is. Crunchy? Yeah, but it's not real. Well. Is it just a salad? It's a nice though. 
So we've got some bread which has seaweed and caraway seeds in it and we've got some in-house made butter which is made with creme fraiche and that is black volcanic sea salt from Cyprus. Is it nice? <laughs> yes? Nod? It is bread. Yeah. It has sugar. Yeah. Oh. I love bread. Mm -hmm. But it's not bread doesn't love me. <laughs> So our main courses have arrived. I've got the Wagyu filet with some risotto. And Caroline has the salmon and cauliflower puree. What, what type of salmon was it again? From the saffron on the top. Um, all grilled salmon. Yep. Yeah. With cauliflower puree and um, sesame seeds and beets. Yeah. So how did you get your Wagyu? This is delicious. Mm. How did you get it done though? Medium. Medium. Mm. There's mushrooms in it though, but... I can't see it. Oh, I can. I can just make it out. Oh yeah, mushroom. I never oh, mentioned you. mushrooms, did it? No. I'll do. And he's got a glass of reason. So my Wagyu filet was mouth-wateringly delicious. It was beautiful. The risotto did have porcini mushrooms in though, which I wasn't impressed with. I had to pick them up, those out. And it was truffle risotto and I was fine with that. It was really, really, really tasty. One of... Actually, that steak was a million times better than the one we had the other night at Blue Zoo. Oh. Which was one of the best steaks that I've had. Oh. Blue Zoo, you said still, still... Still wins for best restaurant because of Tom's chain. Please don't answer that. Let's go. Watch this. And How was starter? your salmon? No, you haven't mentioned your starter. Wow. My starter was okay, the crab croquettes. That was okay. My starter the, was nice. The, the, the chipotle know. mayonnaise thing that came with it, that's what made those. My starter was fine, it was just salad. Yeah, it was <laughs> your salmon. My salmon was done to perfection because they asked us and they always, I always think they're going to laugh when I say I want it well done. I love smoked salmon, and if smoked salmon, you have it all. Fine, I'm fine with that. When you have a proper salmon steak, I like it with a little crisp on the top. I like it so it's not jelly fried around. Um, it's good perfection. But it came with a cauliflower puree, didn't it? And the beetroot's done with it. But again, I kind of eat it because of my stomach. Sean, Sean is a big beetroot fan, and he wouldn't have it. I tried one, it was nice, but I enjoyed my food. And now I'm waiting for my dessert, which is on its way. But I think one of the big issues is well, because I love something on and I kind of. Yeah. I've got, you know, I've got stomach issues and I kind of breathe in there, so. Just the dessert for me. Do you have it? Blueberries, limes, and seashells. So what's we'll see the, what that looks what's like. What's the real name of it? That's what it is. Yeah. Little Zorado. My dessert has arrived, and doesn't that look impressive? Mm. Too good to eat, maybe. So we're finished in the flying fish. That dessert was quite nice. Not my usual type of pudding that I would get, but it was quite nice. Um, I also remember to use the Tables in Wonderland discount, so that got us $31-ish, give or take a few cents, off the total cost of the bill, which is quite a decent how, saving, really. How did that separate out in terms of food and drink? It was 26 40 for the food and four dollars something for the alcohol. We only had two alcoholic beverages, one glass of wine and one smoky gin and tonic. Hickory, hickory. Hickory, hickory yeah. Smoke. But that was a delicious meal, as always, at Flying Fish. And as always, it rained. And the service was good. The service was good, And yes. we got to speak to Stephanie again. And we got to speak to Stephanie again. If you can hear Caroline, she's telling me what to say. <laughs> now, we are, <coughs> it's quarter to nine, so we are walking into Epcot for a quick ride on Soren because we've just snagged a fast pass for now. It's not one of the <laughs> It is. It's and <laughs> then we're going to watch Illuminations and Yay. hope it doesn't rain. We also might bump into Jane and Tom again. So we'll see you in Epcot. <laughs> so we are watching 
the animals in the pen. <laughs> so we have made it into the land pavilion. We are going to ride Soren. And yes, it rained. So we are just about to take off. What? Why are you soaring? So we've just been on Soren, which was as awesome as ever. Ever? Ever? <laughs> which was as awesome as ever. Love the smells on that ride, and out we come to a version of Illuminations. It's like explosions. Well, we're finding a spot. We just got some free maple popcorn. Who's turning that down? Caroline did. I had to chase her down. Soren was thoroughly enjoyable. Did I already say that? Yes. Yeah. I think I've already said that. Um, illuminations and the ho ho <coughs> holiday oh. kiss. That was good and loud. Oh, I'm cho <laughs> I had popcorn 10 minutes ago and now I'm choking on it. DM me. Yeah, anyway, we are back at the boardwalk. We're going to have a quick drink with John. <laughs> and uh, go to bed. So, good night. Catch you later. Keep making the memories. So we've stopped off in the lounge for a night cap. We're all enthralled in the art of conversation. I've got a Long Island. Caroline's got a margarita, Tom a beer, and Jane a gin and water. Next time on Florida with Friends. I'm at Hollywood Studios on my own.